And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for college football week 11, the Big Ten edition. And before we dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, just have to quickly remind you once again that we are 3-0 and in our last three extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock page. And if you want to unlock today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you $2.99. We're also 6-2 and in our last eight daily best plays on that site as well. And if you want to unlock today's daily best play, that's only going to cost you $1.99. We currently have over 675 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, the link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, we're going to take a look at uh, Illinois squaring off against Rutgers. And that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern start time in New Jersey. Uh, noon start time in that game there. But anyway, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights are minus six at home. Totals 52 flat. Uh, the Fighting Illini are plus $1.90 for an upset win. Uh, the Illini just lost their third straight ball game to open up the 2020 season. These guys are not looking good at all. And uh, their most recent loss was a 41-14 to loss to Minnesota. Now the Illini's averaging just 15 points a game. And they're throwing for less than 165 yards a game as well. So very inept on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, even their top receiver, Brian Hightower, is averaging just 43 yards receiving a game. Meanwhile, defensively, Illinois has given up 31 points or more in all three of their contests this season. 39 points a game they're officially uh, giving up, and nearly 200 yards a game they're giving up on the ground. This Illinois secondary also has just one interception thus far in the season. Meanwhile, the Illini have uh, lost their last five straight conference games, of course, that dates back to last season. Now they're taking on a Rutgers program who's covered two out of their last three ball games, including marquee covers over Ohio State and Michigan State. And as a matter of fact, that Michigan State cover was an 11-point outright victory over the Spartans. Now uh, the Scarlet Knights here are scoring nearly 30 points a game and they're rushing for almost a buck and a quarter on the ground. Running back Isaiah Pacheco is averaging 4.4 yards a carry for Rutgers, and he's plunged it into the end zone twice on the ground, so uh, getting some pretty good production out of Pacheco early in this 2020 season. Now, total-wise, Rutgers is officially 1-0 to the over at home, 3-0 to the over for the entire season. Meanwhile, Illinois on the other side of things saw their opening matchup of 2020 against Wisconsin get over the posted number themselves. So with all that said and done, a uh, little bit of a chalky lean here. Give me the Rutgers uh, Scarlet Knights minus six in the over 52 in that ball game. Next contest, Indiana, Michigan State, 12 p.m. Eastern start time in East Lansing. The Indiana Hoosiers are the seven-point favorite on the road. Totals 52 juice to the uh, over. So once again, the number 52 juice to the over, and if you like Sparty in an upset at home, they're plus 245 to win it. Now Michigan.